Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Muddy Reviews. Today, I'm going to be talking about this cool little Zeneco B13 rail that I got with these fancy trademarks. Trademarks, trademarks. So I got this guy in uh, two days ago and I'm very pleased. Trademarks look so, look at those trademarks, man. Look at that. It looks so nice. So beautiful. Too bad I'm going to fucking paint it, but uh, whatever. Probably should have gone with the non-trademarked version in hindsight, be in 2020 and all, and I uh, kind of don't need trademarks. Whatever, I'll, I'll tape over them so when I'm LARPing, I can sit there and be like, ooh, look at my trademarks. They're so pretty. But either way, um, this is a really nicely done replica of the real Zinico. Um, it feels really good. It's nice, nice material. It's made of an aluminum. Um, it feels like it was made out of a single block of aluminum instead of like cast metal or, or some shit. I could be wrong though. It totally could be cast metal. I'm not a fucking metallurgist and I'm not an engineer, but it feels nice and it looks really good. Um, if you, as you can see, I've got three AKs on the table. I have the 74U on the table only because I want to show you the mount that's under this mount because the B13 will not fit on a 74U because of the rear sight being there and this fucker's too long. So we're not gonna we're gonna get to that in a moment. The other AK is a Franken gun AK. It's a kind of a cobbled together uh Tokyo Marui classic army weird thing uh, that I had built back in about 2000 somewhere around 2007, 2008 time frame. A buddy of mine helped me build it from a bunch of spare parts. Uh Originally it had real AK furniture on it, which I've taken off because I didn't want to paint the real AK furniture. Um, and I put Tokyo Marui plastic furniture on it. Uh, yeah, but I, I built this stupid 47 to run around the swamps of Balahack for like a little seal kit thing for like a seal point, man. But it's neither here nor there. Um, now my son uses it to screw around, hence the side mount. Anyway, it's got a real steel side mount as best I know. And that's important because it's not compatible with this. And I'll show you that in a moment. Anyway, on to the review. So, this B13 I got off AliExpress. I will put the actual store in the description below and all that information, exactly how much I paid, how much shipping was, and everything else. Uh, when Speaking of shipping, I bought this at the exact same time as I bought the awesome little Zeneco replica charging handle nub here. Um, that's on this Arcturus and the same time I bought the light that's on this Arcturus and I got the light really quick. I got the nub randomly. It had no tracking information and then I got this literally I believe day before yesterday. This took the longest to get to me which was surprising because I also ordered in that time frame in between those a EOTech and the EOTech showed and I ordered the EOTech quite a bit later and the EOTech showed up on the same day as this. So this took a hot minute to show up, which was kind of strange. Um, I can't fault the store necessarily. I, I don't know what their issues were, what shipping was. I don't know if it just sat for a while or if they just ran into problems. Shipping's been an issue around the world for a while now. Or we've got COVID and whatever. People, So people are blaming that. It's neither here nor there. But anyway, so with that being said, this guy here, is nice, it's very solid, and it mounts incredibly well to the Arcturus. If I can, I'm an idiot, there we go. So, it is extremely solid on here. Once I get it on, it's not going anywhere, it's not moving, I like this. It is just beautiful, and it, it mounts on the Arcturus with no play, no wiggle, nothing. Um, I put four different optics on here yesterday. I put the EOTech that I bought for it. I put a Spectre DR on here, a replica of different brand. I put a same brand uh, aim point. I put a different brand aim point. I put a completely different brand ACOG. And another random optic. None of them had issues mounting to it. Um, none of them needed to be shimmed with tape or anything crazy like that. They all mounted extremely solid. 
and um, had no play in them whatsoever. So that is that's a big up for this rail. Um, I, its tolerances are good. There's no issues anywhere on here. I didn't run into any tolerance issues there. Uh, the tolerances are good on the mounting onto the weapon itself. There's no issues there. It mounts hard and solid. Um, if you did run into any tolerance issues, you can adjust it with this Allen point here. You just use an Allen wrench to tighten this down or loosen it as needed, and that'll that'll tell you that'll give you that uh, positive or negative purchase you need to make it fit better on your gun. Okay, so our tourist is gone. Let's get her out of the way. Let's bring this guy over here. So the reason he's this guy is cool. If you recognize this. this is, my build from uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter. This is a Preacher's gun from Medal of Honor Warfighter. And I decided to build this uh, last summer. I was just had a wild hair up my ass. I was like, dude, I want to build that. Because I've always liked that level. I liked that game. And I built it. So anyway, uh, except for the grip tape, I added that myself just for shits and gigs. Yes, I know the B-13 is not going to fit on here. It is what it is. So, get this guy off. The reason I'm showing you this, though, is this side mount is very similar to the side mount that is on the Arcturus. It's got that thinner profile. Very similar. All right. So, it won't go all the way on, but it does begin to go on with no issues. Now, I'm bringing Franken gut over here. This monstrosity of an AK-47. This ugly thing. With this gross. This, this mount is just horrific. But it, it, it does what it needs to do. But God, it's ugly. It And this, just, this mounting system is just sloppy. Look at that. Ugh, disgusting. So much play. It's just so sloppy. This is eh. pathetic. Anyway, this guy here, if you look at it, is girthy. It's a, it's, it's, it's a big boy. It's a girthy, girthy, thick boy. This thickness right here. B13 starts to go on. It's like, oh, I can, I can handle it. I can handle the girth. B13, you're a liar. You can't handle that girth. See, look at that. It can't, it can, it's just too much. It can't take all of it and it won't go on all the way. So that being said, you've got one of these thick boys. Yeah, I know there's no screw in there. I know you people in the comments, there's screws missing. Yeah, no shit. It's laying next to me. Um, I took it out because it was giving me shit. Anyway, this guy here, and that's not why it won't go on. It's because the thickness here, this, this fat girthiness, this big boy just will not except the B13. The B13 can't take it. She's just too tight. But this slut right here, look at that. She just takes it all. Goes right on. Just takes it. No issues. Bam. Girth, no issue. So anyway, that AK, no problem. And then we bring Preacher's Gat back in. I'll put this guy. See this one here? You know, you got your thin rule, thin groove. Thin groove, whatever, but it goes on. Now this one here, I will say, I don't know the brand of this mount, who makes it. Um, I got this second hand from somewhere else. Where the fuck did I get this? I think I got it off eBay. Um, yeah, I did get it off eBay. It's, a, it's another replica, but uh, it, it's all right, but it tends to loosen up after a while and I have to like tighten it down and it's a pain in the ass, but whatever. That's not what we're reviewing. That's not what I'm talking about. Bring this back in. Here. So, the B13, good rail, well made, very solid. I have high hopes for this thing. Um, this is going to be the primary rail that I run on this Arcturus until I find a solution for a top cover with a rail because the Simas don't work on this Arcturus model that, that I've been able to discover and found the one that my buddy picked up for his one of his Arcturus AK-01 just didn't work. He had to put it on his E&L. Until I could discover a better solution with the rail, this is my go-to. 
I'm very happy with the purchase and I will, like I said, put all the information in the description below. I hope this video helped you out if you've been on the fence about picking one of these AliExpress B13s up. Um, again, yeah, look at those trade marks, man. Look at that. It's just it's nice. Don't be like me. If you're going to paint this, just don't even worry about the trademarks. It's not worth it. That might have been my delay. Um, yeah, I'm going to paint over it anyway. I'm going to tape it. But yeah, so if this helped out, I hope it did. Hit, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, all that YouTube nonsense. Uh, if you have any specific questions or have any comments you want to impart to me, put it in the comment section below, and I will respond in as timely manner as I possibly can. And as soon as I'm physically able to get back out on the airsoft field and sling BBs, I will let you cats know how this uh, how this bad boy was handled, how it worked out. And actually, I'm going to be doing another review very soon of the EOTech that I picked up. And then after that, I will be doing a complete uh, nut-to-butt video on this Arcturus build. So stand by for that. Take care. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you all in the next one.